By 1992, those of QO were saying, There is also another grouping of entities that has come from elsewhere, either within this solar system or outside of this particular solar system, that has chosen to return to a third density planet in order to be of service to the entities upon this planet even though those who return have progressed beyond this third density experience. As we spoke to the previous query in suggesting that those who proceed into the next density of light seek to learn by serving others. There are many of these kinds of entities within this planetary influence at this time, who have come from elsewhere to be of service in a certain manner as they join this planetary influence. These entities offer their light and love just as a portion of their very being glows more brightly with the honor of standing closer to the light of the One Creator. This service is offered, as we said, as a general kind of lightening of the vibrations of this planetary influence. By 1996, the report was that our efforts had begun to bear fruit. The nature of space-time is beginning to alter. The nature of the way each perceives time and space is slowly altering. Even values that your physicists attempt to understand. Subatomic particles and various new particles, which are part of space-time in fourth density. Your planet is being prepared to enter this environment, as are all of the global inhabitants. And at this time, we are very pleased to say that much progress has already been made in lightening the planetary consciousness. So, we are on our way. As regards physical planetary changes, the inconveniences have begun reported those of Ra in 1981. They were substantial and indeed inconvenient, but I think they herald a dawning day that is full of promise. My friend Malaska says, Would we curse these erratic weather patterns, these high winds, these ground swells, these intensively cold and warm conditions? Or would we look past that and see the incredible beauty of Mother Earth shaking and cleansing the old, tired Debris away? To start new and clean, to make way for a new birth of consciousness, self-awareness. Ay, these times are truly exciting and wonderful. Everything is perfection. What a wonderfully balanced point of view this wanderer of the Nordic lands offers. I think resting in faith is, at heart, a better way to regard these earth changes and the lightening of the planetary vibration to ameliorate them than to regard the catastrophes as a critical problem and spend time concerned with things we can in no way control. If we continue to let the light through our energy systems with a full and open heart, light will rapidly increase in our world on many levels. There is no way to figure out just what specific progress we may have made or will make or what changes will come, when and where, without putting more emphasis on fear than on faith. 
And I am not particularly encouraging uh, to those who want weather reports and the current status of the planetary vibrations from our Confederation contacts. Simply because I feel the request for fear-based information detunes the channel. Those of QO express this point well. There are many who are changing in ways which are fundamental to consciousness in the groupings of entities within various cultures, subcultures, and movements of thought which explore regions of experience that are breakthrough areas, shall we say. Thus, there is no reliable way of determining the progression of this change. Only the movement of love within each heart has any hope of indicating to entities the nature of this change. As we become aware of this movement of love within our hearts, we may more clearly see ourselves in a way that reveals the nature of our personal or metaphysical power. We urge each who cares for the planet to reckon with their personal power. Far from being powerless, each entity has access to great amounts of power for weal or for woe. All good entities which wring their hands and pass the judgment upon those who do not appreciate their beautiful environment are damaging the planet in a metaphysical sense by losing hope in the healing of the Earth's sphere. What these positive entities do not realize is that the illusion is the illusion, is the illusion, is the illusion. It will continue to produce possibilities for catalysts. It itself is not in difficulty. It mirrors the lack of hope and feeling a powerlessness of positive entities in a more damaging way than all of the environmental obscurities practiced by those who are insensitive to living in harmony with nature. Realize that the environmental pollution is not nearly as serious an illness to the planetary entity of Mother Earth as the lack, the increasing lack, of certainty among these positive entities that all is well and all shall be well, not in the illusion but in the reality, relatively speaking, of the imperishable fields of consciousness that each of you is with reaction to the imperishable spirit of unconditional and creative love that is the metaphysical planetary entity. It is good not to pollute the streams and forests of your planet, but this is within the illusion and you shall come and you shall go. However, outside of illusion, the Logos, both of the planetary entity and of yourselves, lies in potential in a mated, loving, faithful, and hopeful relationship. And if there is judgment in the attempts to heal the physical earth, then the judgment harms the metaphysical entity of your planet more than the attempts to teach the love of Earth in a judgmental way could ever help. How easy it is to judge, especially when we see the damage done to nature by careless or dishonest people. How easy it is to judge in general, both ourselves and others. The key to refraining from persisting to judge when we discover we are doing it is to remember that this is a metaphysical universe in terms of our spiritual work and that it is far more important to attend to the hearts 
remaining open than to spend time in anger. Those of QO say, You have much to learn. You will make mistakes. But they are not metaphysical mistakes. The mistakes are part of your learning, part of the illusion, part of being human. Forgive yourself. For in forgiving the self, you become able to forgive all. And the redemption in the eyes of a peaceful person is a blessing indeed to those who behold it and to the planet in general. For love lightens the planetary vibrations. This love does not come from you. We would not ask you to attempt to develop such a thing as infinite love. We ask only that you open the self, allow pain to hollow you out, and make you a beautiful and transparent instrument through which infinite love can flow. You are a vessel, a precious, precious vessel. What shall you hold? What shall you offer? What shall we hold indeed? And what shall we let go? As we approach a second look at personal transformation, this is a central question. The QO say, Among your peoples, this has been much misunderstood. For people look to see if there is some service that can be their spiritual gift to the world. They are looking for a dramatic role to play, to teach or to heal or to prophesize. And yet these things are forever secondary to the primary mission of each of you upon this particular planet in this particular density at this time. The mission before each of you is simply to address all that which comes to you with an open heart. Just that. And yet just that is the work of lifetime upon lifetime. For how can a person in a heavy illusion such as you now enjoy be fearless? It is not within the physical body to be fearless. It is not within the earthly brain, uh, the choice maker, to be fearless. Indeed, only the foolish are fearless. And yet, the teacher known to you as Jesus the Christ has said that it is only to the foolish that the wisdom comes. It is only to those who live as little children that the kingdom is inherited. It is certainly easier to speak of living in a Christ-like manner than to do it. Moving into forgiveness and acceptance, re-finding the joy that is our basic nature is not a simple matter, and sometimes it is impossible for a while. When those times of distress are upon us, I would hope we would rest and heal within ourselves without trying to do planetary work or anything else except rebuild our energies. But with each time that we consciously move into the milieu of the open hearts flowing love, we increase our familiarity with it and the quality of our memory of those golden moments. There is an inevitable fullness to the path of the open heart, and although I would not attempt to describe it, there is a resonance, there is a resonance to such moments or times of awareness that is unmistakable. All of us have had this natural and default, state, or setting within our hearts. We are all dwelling in intense delight, bliss, and joy at a very deep level of our essential being. 
It is the way we all experience life before we have been hurt as children. And it is the energy we will access and use now if we remove ourselves from attachment to our achievements and our suffering and every other detail that keeps our hearts from being fully open. Those of QO say, We see upon this planetary sphere that there is the seeding of light in many places where light has not been in predominant expression, shall we say, but has only flickered briefly and at this time we see that there is a great deal more light beginning to shine forth from many areas, entities and groupings of entities upon your planet. However, as with all transformations within the third density, this is a process which must partake of the breaking or shedding of the older ways of perceiving, of thinking, and of doing, so that there might be made a place for a new way of perceiving and of bringing forth that quality of compassion and understanding that has long been hidden within the hearts of many who have incarnated with the desire that they may show forth this energy of love that will aid not only their own evolutionary growth, but will enhance the opportunity to be of service to others and will also lighten the planetary vibrations as a whole. Dun, 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 dun. And that's another beautiful session from LL Research. Thank you, my fellow seekers, my brothers and sisters, in the love and in the light. Be in peace, be yourselves, and share the love and the light of our Creator. Until next time, we meet, we speak, I love you.